Yo, it's Mr. Autopilot. I mean, this is the official. Put videos in T. The official Mr. Autopilot. See the recording studio so you can get to know me a little bit more better. So when you see me in the streets, just don't look at me with a dull look. I mean, you'd be like, yo, 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 what's up? What's up? I mean, instead of looking at me, I mean, just tune in. It's good, new man, I mean, got my manager behind the, behind the camera, you know what I mean, so it was good, man. Like, you tell me, we're going to start with uh, start first question, though. Um, I'm from Albany, originally born and raised in Albany. If y'all want to know the spot, I'm from Uptown, 2nd and Lex, 41st, that's where I'm from, that's why, that's why I was born, that's why I was raised. In other places, is just history. First star writer. The I first think. time. First line. First inspiration. First ink hit the pad. Crayon hit the paper. Whatever you use. Permanent. Don't even matter. Um, well, when I first started writing, tell you the truth, my cousin Sean died. And, um, whole funny thing is he didn't use it. And my own... And that's why I started writing music. And the first time I actually wrote a song, I was in charter school. I was in seventh, what, seventh, seventh grade? No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was in, no, 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 no. I was in eighth grade. Because I remember I got skipped for the eighth grade. I remember that. Yeah, so it was eighth grade. And I was sitting down in my mother's room, in my mother's living room. And I wrote. It was an industry, an uh, industry beat. I believe it was, I believe it was, um, it was an old beat. It had to be like a d dilemma or, or Air Force Ones or something like that, but it was a real old song, real old song, a real old song. Yeah, yeah, but that's what I love. That's the first time that you can't defend. The name Kid Dynamite. What inspired you to uh, call yourself that? Kid Dynamite. Um, I named myself Kid Dynamite because of the of the role that I took in music and the reason why I make music. Kid Dynamite has an actual meaning to it. When I was 18, I was living in Florida, and I came back up from Auburn because I was homeless in Florida, and this was recent, 2008. Homeless in Florida, and I start working on myself. And then I, when I touched down back in Auburn, the finally started going up, and I named myself Kid Dynamite. And what Kid Dynamite means, it means a young person with a spectacular effect. A young person as a kid. If you break down kid, it's a young person. You break down down dynamite, explosive, or a person with a spectacular effect. A young person with a spectacular effect, and that's what Kid Dynamite means. And I spell it as in K I D D D Y N A M I I T E. Copyright. I mean. Dynamite and uh, you know the other dude. Um, what what they call him? Yeah, Mr. Autopilot. Autopilot. Well, tell you the truth. I mean, since I'm a Gemini, shout out to my Gemini. I'm a Gemini, so. Matter of fact, before before you answer that. Okay. What. What gets you in the transformation mode to enter, you know what I'm saying, Mr. Autopilot? What what made you take it to that to that to that next level? Because I go through so much shit in my life. Excuse my name, but I go through so much shit in my life that autopilot. I found out the real reason the autopilot was a co pilot sitting in an airplane and a co pilot sitting and you press a button and the plane automatically goes in autopilot. And that's something like my life because because when I sit here and I'm going through mad shit in my life, like the man upstairs like clears my head and autopilot is something that when I can't go no more, the man upstairs picks me up and and um, carries me out. Pretty much.
So like, that's what all, that's what all the problem is. Like my mind is on what's high, not what's low. My, you know what I mean? My mind is on spiritual things, not earthly things. You know what I mean? Like when a person be like, yeah, how can you say it's about money? But at the end of the day, you need money to survive. But at the end of the day, I don't care about that shit. All I care is about my children. I care about my family. And I care about the youth. That's what I care about. I don't fuck about nothing else. All I care is about the youth. I mean, so shout out to you, know I mean? What's next? The next. Next thing for me is taking over. Um, pretty much taking over as many cities as possible as far as flooding them with my damn music. I mean, as far as building a bigger fan base, I mean, um, I have a fan base with other videos in the team, which is international, but I want more. I mean, I don't want to be the best. I want, I mean, I want to be, I want to be great. I want to be the greatest. I mean, so, in my own way, it's like, I don't call it, I mean, I want to be remembered for something. Not be the best for my, um, for my, for my bars. I want to be remembered because, because I, because I made history doing something. I mean, that's 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 what that's what's next for me. In order for me to get through that is mature more as an artist, mature and everything. Listen, be humble. I mean, keep on doing what I'm doing, and I'll be stubborn. I mean. You want to tell your fans, you know, a little bit about uh, Gemini Music, Gemini Music, Hood Videos, ENT, for those who may not know. Yeah, Hood Videos, for all you motherfuckers that label and judge Hood Videos, ENT, I said this to Um, but for the people who really want to know what Hood Videos, ENT is about, Hood Videos, ENT is about promoting unsigned artists. Oh, and not only that, the real reason why I made Hood Videos, ENT, it's because in Albany we don't got shit to do. Y'all closed down everything, so we don't have nothing to do. And we steady sitting on first or on fourth or on fourth half or third half or, or at um Iffy's or the PT and ain't shit to do. I mean that's why people get shot. You know what I mean? Like and that's why I made her videos in the team. I mean I may not have the equipment all the time, but it's there to help Albany. Or many different hoods. I mean, that's what her video is about. About helping the younger generation realize what's different. I mean, and not coming the same way that I had to go through. But I had a hard day in life. You know what I mean, like, I'm not saying nobody else did, but I had a hard life. I'm not. You know I mean, I'm not a fighter or nothing like that. I protect my. You know I mean, I get down to the nitty gritty if I really have to, but I'm not a fighter. And when I was growing up, a lot of people didn't understand that you had to be hard growing up. I don't know why, but I don't give a fuck. But what goes on is this, is that there's too many kids dying for you to be sitting there acting like you hard. You know what I mean? You can be hard now, you get a bullet in the back of your neck, then you talk about God help me. You know what I mean? Like, shit like that. You know I mean? But, but at the end of the day, if you just be yourself, and you look at what's real and what's fake, then you decipher what's really going on. But if you follow, if you just steady following people, then you ain't going nowhere. I mean, just you're gonna stay in Albany for the rest of your life because that's your mindset, that's your, that, that's your mentality. I mean, it says that what, I mean, what you speak it, that's what you are. I mean, what you, what you think of, so it be, that's who you be. You know what I mean? So if you want to speak great things about your life, then speak great things and you'll be a great person. But if you speak of, yeah, I'm a G, da ba 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 then that's what you're going to be. You're going to be right upstate with the rest of all of them. You know what I mean? Shout out to you know I mean? free money for the rest of them. You know what I mean? But at the end of the day, you know what I mean? You're going to be upstate. I'm sorry to say it, but it's true. You know what I mean? But the Knicks told us when we first entered the Open High, that's the truth. You know what I mean? But it's just what it is. I mean,
Tell you the truth, I mean, there's a lot of artists in mean, that can be compared to. I mean, um, um, but truthfully, I mean, I'm gonna say this, like, and I want you to catch this when I say this. Only my kind can be can be compared to you because only my kind understand what you're talking about. You might. A nigga might look at this and be like, fuck, who the fuck is you talking about my kind? You just find out in the future. That's all I can really say. I can't really speak much about it, but only my kind can really understand what I'm saying. You know what I mean? And only my kind. I'm not talking about as far as skin. No. Don't don't use it as a racist comment. Because even, I mean, because I mean, even Europeans can understand what I'm saying, or a uh, person with a, a white people, whatever. Whatever y'all want to call yourself, you know what I mean? Or however, Caucasians. Light skin people, you know what I mean? I mean, anybody can understand what I'm saying, but if you really want to get get the glitch of what I'm, get really the definition of what I'm saying, you got to be my kind to understand what I'm saying, you know what I mean? I mean, if, you, if you're not my kind, you will not understand the thing I'm saying. I mean, so that's why I spit in simple language sometimes. I mean, and even when I do spit in on simple language, it's still def double definition, you know what I mean? I could be talking about anything, you know what I mean? And the average motherfucker sit there like, yo, yo, yeah, 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 this shit is hot, you know what I mean? And I'll be sitting there like, do you understand what I'm talking about, you know what I mean? Like, but once you understand what I'm talking about, then you will understand what's coming why I'm here, why I'm living in this day and age. You know what I mean? Everybody's seven in a place for a reason. Think about it. You use the word future a lot. Oof. Any uh, tour date shows, projects? Well, I wanted to drop autopilot, but I was like, nah, fuck that. I ain't dropping that. I mean, what I really want to drop is Two Faces, Such a Gemini. I want to drop that. And I'm working on it now, as you can hear the song. Um, working on it, I mean, I just worked on the, the first five tracks to it, you know what I mean? How many songs you just did? Um, five tracks. How many hours? Three hours. Um, three, oh, actually, two and a half hours, actually. Five I mean, songs, two and a half hours? Yeah, it's not bad. Work like it's crazy, huh? Yeah, it's, it's all right. I mean, I don't think to five, you know what I mean? But it's, um... Not only that, I mean, I toured January 2nd, I mean, um, Major knew me and booked, went crazy, booked a bunch of shows, initially, so we're going to go through that, me and Jasper, we're going to go through that, I mean, one year to see me and Gemini, we can go down, I mean, um, and I want to drop this DVD for her videos in T. I mean, that's what Kid Dynamite was, you know, Mr. Autopilot was working on Gemini, such a Gemini on Two Faces, you know what I mean? So, getting more artists, you know what I mean, to ride with, you know what I mean? Host, DJs, whatever, you know what I mean? So, if you don't know, Nubi, DJ, you know, DJ, well, Mr. DJ CEO, he do parties, he do everything, you know what I mean? I mean, he's just sick, you know what I mean? So, but, it's my plan. I mean, to take over the next city, which is New York City. I'm coming for, for New York City. I got Albany. You know what I mean? Like, I'm coming for New York City. You know what I mean? That's my. If you think I'm lying, watch. You know what I mean? So, just all goes to five. You know I mean? So, all them people will just be straying and young, uh, younger kids away, man. Take this. All right. Set up. Okay. Um, take that for yourself, you know what I mean? Look at yourself, man. Because I mean, at the end of the day, you, know I mean? you got your son and your daughter growing up in the same, um, I mean, in the same, in the same thing, you know what I mean? Like, so, you take that, you know what I mean? Um, for the real ones, you know what I mean? We'll be tossing wisdom at us, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I still love everybody, but um, to younger dudes, man, keep our heads up, man, stay out of trouble, man. Cops is definitely watching, I mean, I just want I just mean to say that, I mean, cops is definitely watching for you to make the wrong move, you know what I mean, so you can be upstate somewhere, you know what I mean, sharing a cell with, I mean, some nigga named um, Roy, you know what I mean, <laughs> or a nigga named Billy. From the white um, um, 
supremacy society or whatnot, know what I mean? Or some Muslim nigga, know what I mean? That ass is true shit, know what I mean? We're in Albany County for eight months because you ran the stoplight, know what I mean? That's stupid shit, know what I mean? So, um, for all the real mothers, know what I mean, who like me, baby father, see they, um, see they child, know what I mean? Love, know what I mean? It's pretty much, I say that to say this. Be yourself, don't be like nobody. Be your fucking self. Be yourself, don't be nobody else. If you're gonna be like somebody else, you might as well wear their clothes for all that, know what I mean? Because at the end of the day, if you're following somebody with a fucked up heart, I mean, your heart will become messed up. Just wanna let you know that, know what I mean? But be yourself, don't be nobody else, know what I mean? I'm sorry for the language, but at the end of the day, I mean, I'm being myself. I mean, if you wanna condemn me, then go right ahead. Tell me. One in two. Shimmy Nine Music. Her videos on the team.